All right, everyone, I had to make a video real quick because I just played a match in Rumble Rivals just recently and saw somebody commit one of the classic mistakes early on. And I'm really surprised they did um, at the level that I'm at. I'm not the greatest player in this game, but just looking at the trophy level, 5772, I mean, I'm not the worst player in the game, that's for sure. And I can't believe that I just watched somebody make the mistake they just did, especially in light of the new release of the Voodoo Witch, which is now out in circulation. It's the newest legendary that they just released um, for the game. And because of the ability of this card, that it can curse an opponent in co-op, it, it enchants an allies unit, but the curse unit heals monsters when they're attacking. They heal monsters instead of attacking them. You cannot have powerful units in this game early on with this card out there lurking because they're gonna turn them against the monsters that you're facing. And that's just what happened in this matchup that I just had. Opponent came in, guns blazing, mana pool tried to merge too much too early and got undone. Check this out. All right, I'm gonna take you through this battle that I literally just played a couple of minutes ago, but I, I recorded the video and I wanna show you exactly a classic rookie mistake that this player makes. All right, we start out just fine. Um, each of us playing Chameleon and Cyborg. The goal with Cyborg is to align them in columns or rows to activate their ability. The problem that my opponent goes through here is they also use Mana Balloon. And Mana Balloon gives you extra mana when you merge it. The problem is if you merge too much early, like they just did, you run yourself really thin, really fast, and you're kind of a victim of what units you get after you merge, uh, which you'll find that they get you know, later on in the battle here. Um, meanwhile, I'm just taking it slow and steady. I got a bunch of chameleons out there. It gives me a lot of flexibility. I use my switcheroo just to reposition things the way that I need to. If I, you know, if push comes to shove, I can move those chameleons into cyborg rolls and then align them here, which I do right there on the left side of the board, as you see, um, as the enemies are starting to creep down the path a little further. So this fights them off. Meanwhile, my opponent, he's already got a level four mime over there. What's that gonna do? It's nothing. It's, it's a complete waste of resources and all too early. And what you'll find here is I continue to just kind of position my units, you know, strategically and slowly and steadily build they went all out way too fast and now they're going to leave themselves susceptible because the voodoo witch which is the newest legendary that i just got um is going to absolutely undo them here in just a minute um i'm just positioning my cyborgs to make sure i can handle the weapons or the uh, enemies that are coming down the path here but as soon as i start with the voodoo witch which is right here watch this i start vexing his units and he's got to merge them in order to get rid of that uh vexing or that that hex they put on. I don't know, whatever it is. Ultimately, what it means is that the unit, whoever's hexed, like his fireman is in the top left corner right now, they start healing the enemies instead of hurting them, which is a huge ability um, and one that you got to guard against. So this person just did not plan adequately enough to protect the units that they have. They've got really high star levels. Oh, and now I just hexed the, the four star cyborg. I mean, this one's not even going to make it through the first boss because they just went way too crazy merging too early. Whereas I just took a slower and steadier approach, positioned my cyborgs where they needed to, gradually ramped them up, didn't spread too thin, um, and certainly had enough power to get through this. Yeah, they're not even gonna make it through this first boss before we get a win here, which is, I mean, that's just strategy. It, it had nothing to do with card level. Had We had virtually the same cards. In fact, take a look at the levels right here. It, um, yeah, they're all level 10. And we're level seven and eight. I mean, it, it has nothing to do with card level or card power. It has all to do with strategy. And that's the one key takeaway from this. Don't merge too early and don't leave yourself susceptible.